Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole full elect. And shalom I'm to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as faith. All right, you need faith, you know, to be able to um, endure in this truth, you know. To be able to stay in this truth, you have to have faith. Faith is one of the biggest things that you need in this truth. All right, because you got a lot of jakes out there that believe it's all about the laws, the laws, the laws, the laws, the laws. No, the laws, you know, is some part or somewhat that we need, you know, to sustain in this truth. Yeah, we are to keep the laws, but the laws can't save you. Faith is what's going to save you. And you need faith, you know, to be able to sustain in this truth. And Lord one is that's edifying. This is Matthew 21 and 22. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. All right. It says, Matthew 21, 22, and it says, In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing. What is believing? What comes with believing? Faith. All right? If you have faith, you can believe. All right? Faith, faith comes in with believing. Believing comes in with faith. All right? It says, ye shall receive. Right? So whatever you pray and ask the Lord for, all right, the Lord will do it. But you got to have the faith, all right? And you have to worship the Messiah. All right, you can't just pray to the Heavenly Father. You have to go through Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai said in John 14 and 6, he says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me." So on His name, Yahweh Shai's name, all right, we have to call upon His name. We have to worship Yahweh Shai to get to the Heavenly Father. All right, so yes, we have to worship Yahweh Shai, and yes, you need faith to be able to sustain in this truth. This is Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Right. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word. All right. The word is what cleanses us. The word is what is our water baptism. But that also comes in with faith because we need faith, you know, just for us to be able to do three videos a day, do three videos every day. That's with faith to go out on the highways and byways. That's with faith to make your calling and election sure with diligence. That's with faith. To be humble, to, you know, to continually be humble in his truth, that's what faith. To be able to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom called America, that's what faith. We have everything that you are doing in the truth is all with you having the gift of faith. All right. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now is faith. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. What are we hoping for? We're hoping for salvation. We're hoping that the Lord continues us to keep us diligent. We're we hoping that the Lord keeps us sustained in this truth. We're hoping that the Lord continually guide us in this thing, guide us in this truth. You know, we're hoping for salvation. All right, we're hoping for the end of this rulership, in the Esau's rulership to be destroyed. We're hoping to, to be the elect. All right. It says the evidence of things not seen, right? The evidence of things not seen. Yahweh Shai hasn't came back yet, all right? This place called America hasn't been destroyed yet, all right? The chariots, they are being seen, but they're not really, they're not fully in effect, you know, saving the elect. The elect hasn't been beamed up yet, all right? These are the evidence of things not seen, but it's coming, it's, it's coming though. And we know that through what? Faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The elect receiving spiritual power. That's what faith. We know that the Lord is going to give the elect spiritual power. All right. And that's what faith. This is Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, see, without faith. So if you reject that, 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 you know, throw away faith, like, oh, it ain't about faith. It's about the law. Then how are you going to, if, it, if you put away the faith, like, oh, it ain't about faith. You know, it's about the laws, the laws, the laws, the laws. Because I met individuals like that. Faith is, yeah, you got to have faith, but it's mainly about the laws. No, it's not. Because if you don't have faith, how are you going to be able to sustain in this truth? How are you going to be able to pray to the Lord? How are you going to be able to sustain in this truth? Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to Yahweh by Shemashai must believe that he is. So you have to have the faith, man. It says, and that he is a warder of them that diligently seek him. How are you going to diligently seek the Lord if you don't got faith? It's going to be hard for you to be able to sustain the truth. So, yes. The laws, yeah, we're to keep the laws, but the laws ain't a big deal like that. Faith is a big deal. Because how are you going to be able to sustain through Jacob trouble if you don't have faith? You got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. That's what what? Faith. That's not what keeping the laws. That's what faith. 
Now, we're keeping the laws to the best of our abilities. I'm not saying not to keep the laws. Yes, we have to keep the laws to the best of our ability. But we're doing that with faith. We're doing that just with faith, man. All right? And if you a Jake that's weak in faith, then you need to ask the Lord to strengthen you in the faith. This is Ephesians 2 and 8. For by grace are you saved through faith. See? For by grace are we saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. So faith is a spiritual gift given by the Heavenly Father Yahweh. And the Lord only has given that to his hopeful elect. The ones who he's dealing with. Because not every single Hebrew Israelite has faith. You got Israelite groups out here that's just law crazy. Laws, 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 laws. And the laws can't save you. Faith is what's going to save you. Now, I'm not saying not to keep the laws because we have to keep them to the best of our ability. But the laws is not what's going to save you. All right. We broke the laws, statutes and commandments. All right. We didn't. We broke the old covenant. We didn't keep the laws. So now Yahweh Shai's blood, we have grace. And now through grace, you know, we're able to, what, sustain for the second coming of the Lord, doing everything that we're doing in the truth with faith, diligence, you know, being obsession with this truth, praying to the Lord. That's all with faith. So, yes, we are to keep the laws, but faith is what's going to save us. So, Lord, one is that is edifying. I want to give honors, glorious praise to Yahweh, Shai, peace, blessings, salutations, stove for like. And shalom to you, sincere brother, scattered broad, push forth this word of truth and sincerity. I'm your brother, Mashiach Razakah, from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord, one is that is edifying. So, faith is what's going to save you, not the laws. Shalom.